Hallelujah be to Jesus. Shalom, beloved in Christ. You are all welcome again. I welcome you all. Wherever you are connecting us from, you are welcome. Hallelujah. You are welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah be to Jesus. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. We bless you for a new day. We thank you for another day. Glory be to your name, O Lord. We magnify you, Abba Father. We magnify you, King of Kings. We give you all the praises. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. Wherever you are connecting us from, give God a wave. Yeah, let God know you, you appreciate his mercies. His mercies. His mercies. Hallelujah be to his name. Hallelujah be to his name. We thank God for all what he has been doing for us. It is not by might. It is not by strength. It is the Holy Spirit. It is the doing of Elohim. It is the doing of the Almighty God. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. We thank you, our, our Master. We thank you, our Healer. Wherever you are connecting us from, open your mouth and give thanks to God. Wherever you are connecting this broadcast from, from South Africa, from Nigeria, from Ghana, from Tanzania, from Kenya, from Norway, from Germany, from United States of America, from Canada, uh, from Asia, wherever you are connecting us from, I welcome you. I want you to say, God, I thank you. I want you to say thank you, Jesus Christ. I want you to say thank you, my Father. I want you to say thank you, my Maker. Thank you, the breadwinner of my soul. Thank you for giving me the privilege to see a new day. Giving me the privilege to appear before you. It is your grace. It is your grace. It is your grace. It is your grace. Thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. The word of God says it is only iniquity that crosses the ears of God from listening to our prayers. So when you study the Bible according to the book of John chapter 9, verses number 31, the Bible said there was a blind man. This blind man has never seen before. He only hear, he only perceived. But the day that he had an encounter, with the miracle working man, the day he saw, he began to see. The Pharisees were jealous. They said, ah, 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 the man that healed you, he is using Bezibu to do this miracle. And the man said, we know God does not listen to prayers of sinners. It is true that God do not listen to the prayers of sinners. According to Isaiah chapter 59, we know that God spoke through his prophet that the ears of God, it is not brought that he will not hear our prayers. Neither his eyes are blind. That he will not see our, our grieving, that he will not see our pain, that he will not see our suffering. But it is iniquity that has separated us from our creator. It is sins that have separated us from our creator. It is things that we love, the things that the, 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 the flesh, our flesh, have praise us in this is what has crossed the ears of god from our prayers so this moment i want you to go down your knee humble your heart humble your heart as you have appeared before earthly king that you know you have sinned that you are going to pass judgment how you behave how you humble yourself i want you to humble yourself before god because no matter how bigger your sins are god does not care about the the quantity or the quality of your sins but he care about the heart and how you surrender everything and say i have surrender everything i will not go back to sin again and immediately your sins will be forgiven so i want you to ask god to 
forgive you. The Bible says, if any righteous man on earth live and say, I always do good without sinning, that person is a liar. According to 1 John chapter 1, verses number 8 to 9, say, if you say we have not sinned, we make him a liar. Then his word or his spirit is not in us. But when we confess our sins, the word of God says he is faithful and just to forgive you all your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. I don't know what you have done that is separating you from your creator. I don't know what you have done that have closed the ears of God from listening to your prayers. I don't know what you have done that have given access to witches and wisdom to manipulate your life. I don't know what you have done that is causing God not to listen to your prayer. But this moment, if you go down your knee and say, God, forgive me. Pardon me all my sins. Forgive me because I have chosen another God over you. Forgive me because I have shared your glory with another creature. Forgive me because I have saved and honored my flesh more than your word of God. Forgive me because I have defiled the temple. We're sleeping around with many men or sleeping around with many women. Forgive me, oh Lord, because I have defiled your temple with smoking, with alcoholism, with masturbation Beating, we sleeping with animal. Forgive me, oh Lord. If you go down your knee this moment to cry to the Holy One of, of Israel, to cry to Elohim, to forgive you all your sins, He is faithful and just to forgive you. Open your mouth and plead for your sins. Open your mouth and ask God to forgive you. Open your mouth and cry to God that today I have come. I lay everything under your feet. I lay all the best this on my head under your feet I lay all the problems on my head under your feet I lay everything that is separating me everything that is taking me away from your presence I lay all under your feet forgive me and make me new renew me oh lord create in me a rightful spirit renew a rightful spirit in me create in me a new heart forgive me everything that I have done grace me with your precious blood grace me with your precious blood. Forgive my children their iniquity. Forgive my parents. Forgive my grandchildren. Forgive my husband. Forgive my wife. Open your mouth and pray. If you confess tonight, he is faithful and just to forgive. If you surrender tonight, he will visit you before this program is over. If you surrender, you will not come with the problem that you, you never return with the problem you came. If you surrender and let God visit you this moment, if you cry the Holy Spirit, I want a personal encounter with you. Maybe you've been visiting Gagal. Maybe you've been coming here and but you don't come as a righteous person. You don't come as somebody that have dedicated his or her life to Christ. You come as, 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 as somebody just to receive miracle. But you have not had a personal relationship with God Almighty. This is the moment. Invite him and say, Lord God Almighty, I invite you into my life. I take you this day as my Lord and Savior. I receive you into my life for Lord, from today visit me. Let your light shine for me. Let me see your miraculous work. Let me hear. Let me hear. Let me perceive. Let me see. Let me feel your presence in my life from today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. According to the book of Acts chapter 2 verses number 40. The apostle said, Apostle Peter said, allow yourself to be delivered from this untoward generation. All of us, we are from a, a family that is having a foundation, a family that is in a covenant. A family that is having evil order. A family that, that is filled with demons that are saying, we will never let you do this. Demons that are restricting people's life. Demons that are controlling people's life. But today, 
Elohim, if you give your life to Christ, if you handle your driver's seat to Elohim and tell him today I am fed up, deliver me from this untoward generation, deliver me from my father's lineage, deliver me from my mother's lineage. Maybe you are from a lineage that is like the lineage of Abraham, the first bones do not prosper. Maybe you are from a lineage that is like the lineage of, of Sarai that they will struggle and struggle and struggle and before they get the fruit of the womb maybe you are from the lineage like the lineage of Hannah that you cry and cry and cry that you have to receive all kinds of mockery, shame intimidations before your star will shine or before your glory will shine, maybe you are from a lineage like the lineage of Job that you are the pillar but nobody is supporting you, maybe you are from such a lineage that when you come down, or oh, oh, many people depend on you, but when you are down, nobody will come to your aid. Maybe you are from such a lineage, you have to join me to take Elohim as your Lord and Savior, so that when you are down, that unexpected destiny helpers will locate you. I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord God Almighty, deliver me from from that untoward generation, deliver me from my parent lineage, or my father or my mother's lineage, deliver me from the lineage that is difficult for men to prosper, deliver me from the lineage that is difficult for stars to shine, deliver me from the lineage that is difficult for you to get a good marriage, deliver me from the lineage that is difficult for you to see a God, deliver me from that lineage, the lineage that is enemy to the cross, the lineage that is enemy to you, the lineage that has blasphemed you and is going through a lot of curses, deliver me today. Hey, Lekabiande, Makapayadosa, deliver me, Lord. I surrender to you. Unto you I surrender. Unto you I bow. Unto you I dedicate my life. I know only you can help me. I know help will come from you. David said, I will lift up my eye unto thee. From where will my help come from? Because David looked left and he saw many uncles that are wealthy but do not care about his life. He looked right. He saw many aunties that are living abroad, that are living better life, but they do not care about the well-being of others, or they do not care about uplifting others, or they do not care about investing in others. So David sat down and discovered that my help will not come from left or right, but my help come from Elohim. So I will lift up my eye unto you. From where will my help come from? My help come from you alone. If you lift your eye unto Elohim to Day. Help is coming your way. If you lift up your eye and say, Elohim, remember me this season. Remember me in this difficult situation. Remember me in this difficult hour. Ah, help is coming from the north. Help is coming from the from the south. Help is coming from the west. Help is coming from the east. Open your mouth and declare, I will lift up my eye unto thee. Help me, O oh Lord. Let help us locate me. I lift up my eye unto the mountains. Unto you, Elohim. Let help us locate me. Let help us locate me. Let help us locate me. When I studied about the, the life of that impotent man that was beside the, the, the lake, the pool, Bethsaida, that impotent man that was lying beside the pool. Yes. That man had no helper. That man had no helper. No helper in his life. 38 years of suffering. People were fed up with him. 38 years of suffering. No helper. 
no destiny helper. So he lifted up his eye onto the mountain. When you read the book of John chapter 5 verse 7, the day that unexpected helper, that is our Lord Jesus Christ, ah, visited the life of this man. According to John chapter 5 verses number 7, Jesus Christ confronted this man and he asked him, why have you been here for a long time? Because Elohim knew that every year there were angels that come down. There were unexpected helpers that came to the aid of people that were in need in that place. Hallelujah. So Jesus Christ approached this man and he asked him, why have you been here for a long time? Today Elohim is asking you, why have you been in your situation for a long time? Why have you been stuck in one position for a long time? You completed senior high school. You completed uni uh, with, in the same year with your age mates. Now many of them are managers. You are still jobless. Elohim is asking you, why have you remained there for a long time? Elohim is asking you, why is it that uh, people are speeding? Only you, you are creeping and crawling in life. Elohim is asking you, as he confronted the impotent man, he asked him, why, why have you been here for a long time? Listen to the answer he gave. He said, the important man answered him and said, Sir, I have no man. Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another step down before me. I have no man. I have no helper. I have no mother. I have no father. I have no husband. I have no wife. Me and my children, we only need unexpected. Helper that we do not even expect to come to our aid. This is the helper that we need. Because when this important man was down there, near to that poor Besada, nobody knew that a day is coming that unexpected destiny helper will visit him and tell him, take your mat and go. Today, Elohim is speaking to somebody today. He is saying, you have been beside that pool for ages. People are making mockery of you. Are in that situation for a long time. You are a child of God. You are a believer. You are a born again person. People know you that you are a born again. They are making mockery of you. They are even asking of you, where is the God you serve? Where is your faith? Where is that God? Where is the miracle God that every day you preach? People are blaspheming because of your situation. Because of what situation I'm prison in. But today Elohim is saying, take your mat and go. He is saying, take your mat and go. You that do not have anybody to hold you and put you in the, in the pool when the angels stare it. Elohim is saying, you are breaking protocol to, to your next level because nobody will help you to walk through the staircase. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. So you have to break through protocols. They have to push you through the windows like the sick man that the family broke protocols. They did not pass through the entrance. They broke protocols by putting the man through the roof. Because they knew this man had delayed. And if they say they want to pass through the gate, the gate is already crowded. The gate is already full. You will not get access. So today, unexpected destiny helpers is locating you. If you believe, say yes. One thing that I learned about this man that put tears in my eyes. And many of us, we can relate to this man's story. Many of us, we can relate to this man's story. We are in a dispensation that people do not help those in need. They give to those who do not need. People do not help those in need. When you are at the bottom, they will allow you to be the bottom line. 
Nobody will come to your head to hold your hand to push you from the bottom to the top. Nobody. They will only come to your head when you are on the top. They will only draw closer to you when you have been able to overcome the challenges of life, the trials of life, the difficulties, the hardship. When you when when you are sleeping with empty stomach, when you are drinking garlic without sugar to sleep, nobody will come to your aid. This man said, I had no helper. But when I'm trying to cross, somebody go before me. They will never help you. But when you are trying to succeed, they try to block you. Today, let all those that have been going before you fall. Let all those that are not helping you, but the move, the effort you are putting, they are the people pulling you down. May God rise up for you. May the spirit of God rise up for you. May the angels of God rise up for you. May God scatter them. May God scatter them. All those that are not interested in helping you in the situation you are in, but are interested in blocking you when you are trying to crawl. When you are struggling to crawl, a typical example, when we were young, I discovered something. Today, when I was thinking, when the Lord placed this topic on my heart, and I was thinking about this thing, I can relate that there are so many things that I have been going through from my childhood. From my childhood till now, I'm still battling that fight. It is something that I'm still battling. When I was young, I quite remember, I was in class one. We were praying. All the people were allowed to go and pray. When I tried to go and join those praying, there was a young boy. The head was very big. The leg was so small. That is how naturally he was born. The head is very big. So we used to tease him. We said, look up. Because when he look up, you fall. Yes, he can look up like this and, and, and lift his eye up. So he used to tease this boy as you grow up. When I was young, any time that everybody is going, even when they, they ring the bell and say it is bread time, everybody go and pray. I will see this boy standing in the gate like this. I will not let you go. And this is something that I have been battling till now. So now, there are demons that are always, they are only interested in the gate where I will pass. And many of you, you are going through this. And I'm not the only one going through this. And you are not the only one going through this. I can relate to you in the Bible. A typical example is Job. Job also experienced this thing that we are experiencing today. Job went through this, that, things that we are going through today. Yes. So when I studied the life of Job, according to the, Job, the book of Job chapter 19, you can write the scriptures. And I know many of you, you've been going through, but your mind have not been drawn to it. I call them demonic roadblockers. They will never let destiny helper locate you. I call them demonic roadblockers. They will never let helpers locate your children. They will never allow helpers to locate your ministry. They will never let you reach your next level. No way. They are interested in the gate. Job 19 verses 8. He said he has fenced up my way. Listen to Job speaking. They have fenced. They placed a fence wall. They have faced up my way that I cannot pass. Just imagine, when I study this scripture, I can relate to my destiny. They have faced the road that I cannot pass. He said he has set darkness on my path. They have faced our road that we cannot pass. And this is what we have been seeing in our dreams. Many of you, when you are trying to go, you see military men with guns, you have to run away. When you are trying to go, you see policemen with guns, you have to run away. When you are trying to go, you see your brother with a matcha standing on the road, you have to run. When you are trying to go, you see a lot of snake on the road, you have to run away. Today, I came. Ah, say, let all demonic roadblockers, let them be scattered. Demonic roadblockers, broken my way, broken my road, in the name of Jesus Christ, scattered now. Satanic roadblockers, 
They have broke my way. That I cannot move forward. They have broke my way. They can't fight you. So the only thing they can do is to block your way. Select so demonic roadblockers. Let them paralyze. Let satanic roadblockers. Let them paralyze. Let demons that has vowed not to let me go. Let them fall and die. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Let them fall and die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do those that have crossed your road just to restrict you just to make you remain in one position just to make you sit in one position ah let those responsible those standing on our way those standing in uh, in front of our door let them paralyze let them paralyze in the name of Jesus Christ let them paralyze those blocking your road those crossing doors those restricting you those limiting you those stopping you stopping you in your dreams stopping you in 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 in, in everywhere you go let them paralyze by power and authority let them paralyze by power and authority let the power of god take the strength in their leg take the strength in their hand take the strength in their ways take their strength in the head in the name of jesus christ let them lose their power let them lose their strength by divine authority by divine authority let them lose their strength let them lose their power demonic road brokers let the fire of god consume them let the spirit of god arise for us let the spirit of god arise for you let the angels of god arise for you let the service spirit of god arise for you let the element of creation arise for you as the sun the moon and the stars stood for joshua unto Joshua avenge on his enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and declare. Let the element of creation arise for me. Yes. Because in times of difficulties, we need them. Share the broadcast for me. In times of difficulties, we need them. Joshua was stronger. Joshua is the one that Elohim said, I will deliver unto you wherever your photo step. As I, as, I, as, as, as I was with Moses, so I'm going to be with you. Hallelujah. But the Lord, the Bible said, there was a battle that was stronger and mightier. There was a battle that came on the life of Joshua that Joshua could not fight. Ah, so God Almighty sends stones. He sends stones from heaven, rocks from heaven, just to destroy the enemies of Joshua. We are praying right now. Lord God Almighty, we command the element of creation. When we talk about the element of creation, we are talking about the stars. We are talking about the moon. We are talking about the sun and everything in this world let it rise up and fight for us let it rise up and fight for us let them rise and support us let the element of creation he
Job said, he had fenced me. I don't know what they, are, they have used to fence you. I don't know where your soul is. Because sometimes when God opens our eyes to see, we see that many souls are in pit. We see that many souls, they are being surrounded. They are being, they are being caught in a net like how the fishermen have been catching fish in the sea. Sometimes we see many, they are not in prison, but they are monitoring sport. They are sport following them everywhere they go. Hey, they have fenced them. Their freedom have been taken away. She went on your own, but you don't own your own freedom. I don't know the fence. Ah, the children of Israel, they fought a battle. They struggled. They were able to overcome the Red Sea. They never knew Jericho was waiting for them. They never knew that small city called Jericho will make them, will make their journey bitter for them. I don't know what they, what they have used to fence you. I don't know your fence, whether it is gate of brass or it is bars of iron. I get to the ground, let it fall as Jericho fall, let it fall as Jericho fall, like Gabriel. Then anything that they've used to fence you, anything they've used to block you, anything they've used to restrict you, let it fall, let it fall by power and authority, let it fall. Let it come down, 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 let it come down. Let any wall that is standing between you and your destiny helper, let any wall that is standing between you and your next level, let any wall that is standing between you and your dreams, let it form, 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 let it form. Let it form, let it form, let it form. Every mountain, human mountain, human obstacle, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Every mountain, every mountain, every mountain, let it fall, 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 let it fall. Right now, let that Jericho, let that Jericho that has been shut, that has been closed. Restricting you that has been closed purposely because of you. Many of you doors have been closed, not because of any other person, because of you. Doors have been shut because of you. They have closed the immigration because of you. They have closed that embassy because of you. They have stopped their tax because they know when you take it, you get something to feed your family. They have set fire in that business because they know when they set fire in that business, <laughs> ah, that is your end. They have crossed a door because of you. They have crossed a door because of you. They have faced somebody because of you. They have faced your destiny helper because of you. Many people that are struggling in life, it is because of some of us. Many people that are finding it difficult to get breakthrough it is because of some of us because they know that when you get your breakthrough your mother in the village will move to the city they know when you're financially stable your father's cancer he will go for medication every month they know that when you get breakthrough that your child that is a destiny child that is a promised child will get treatment will get money to receive better treatment so they will fence you Hey, say so wherever my destiny helper have been fenced. Wherever they fenced my destiny helper, let my helper be released. The unexpected helper, wherever they have fenced him or her, let her be released. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Do not many of you, as soon as your sisters in abroad, as soon as they promise to come and take you from Nigeria, to come and take you from South Africa, to come and take you from Kenya, to come and take you from Zambia, that very month they lose their job, so now they are still jobless. 
Your destiny helper is under attack. Yes. Yes. Because they promised to come and build that two bedroom for you. So that you and your children will not rent again. That is the end of your destiny helper. Your destiny helper is even finding it difficult to get a job. Your destiny helper has remained jobless since January till now. We have to stand for them. We have to command and declare. Let them be released. Open your mouth and declare. Let my destiny helper be released. Wherever they are, let them be released. Wherever they be fenced, let them be released. My destiny helper, wherever you are, be released, be released, be released, be released, be released, be released. Let Kabia de Makapa Yadosam, Lentorapa Masun Diamond, wherever my helper is, whether she or he is being tied in the north or in the south or in the east or in the west, I declare by power that resurrected. Ah, I Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ from the grave, let my helper, wherever she is, be released. Wherever he is, be released. Let my helper, wherever they are, be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. My destiny helper. Share the broadcast for me. Everybody click on the share button for me. Just share for somebody to join to pray. Click on the share button for me. Everybody click on the share button for me. Yeah, just two minutes. Do that exercise for me. Do that exercise for me. Click on the share button for me. Everybody click on the share button. Before we continue, I want you to share. Many people have not gotten a notification yet. Many are still waiting for you to share so that they can log in and pray. Do it for me, please. Do it for me, please. Do it for me, please. Yes, 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 yes. As you share... Ah, wherever your destiny helper have been faced, wherever your destiny helper have been faced, let them be released. Let them be released. Wherever they've kidnapped them, wherever they've killed them, wherever they've imprisoned them, let them be released. Let them be released. Let them be released. Let them be released. Them be released. Many of you, your destiny helper is your husband. Many of you, it is your wife. So they will never let her get document to come and help you. They will never let him get documents so that he will come and help you. Ah, let them be released. Let them be released. Let them be released. Let the attack that has been evoked on my destiny helper bounce back to the sender. Let the attacks that has been evoked on my destiny helper bounce back to the sender. Go back to the sender. Go back to the sender. Go back to the sender. Let Kabiande Makapaya Dosa. Let Tolopo Masun Diamond. So Brokotoli and Tarma Makapa. Let the attack on my helpers are in the north. On my help. In the south, on my helpers, in the west, in my, on my helpers, in the east, be lifted, be lifted, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Every attack on our destiny helpers right now, let attack be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by power and authority. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command the release of unexpected destiny helpers. We command. The release of destiny helpers with my that have been mandated to help us. Do not there are some people in the sight of God, they are mandated to be your helper. Before you can reach your next level, those people will come to your aid. Before you become who you are, you must meet them. And you know, sometimes the most saddest thing is that they they, they capture them just to delay you. So maybe your helper is supposed to locate you in January 2021 to push you to your next level. They capture him. They face him. They put him in prison and they release him in 2026. Just imagine, just to delay you. Just to delay you. Just to delay you. Wherever my helper is, let my helper be released. Let my helper be released. Let my helper receive breakthrough. Let my helper receive financial breakthrough. Pray this prayer point for your helpers. Because many of you, your helpers are already broke. We have strong helpers and we have weak helpers. 
There are people in this ministry, I perceive within me, they have a helping hand. When we request for any money for donation, they don't have, but you can see even pen they want to add up. Helpers, weak helpers, strong helpers. We have some helpers without access. They will come, but they have, they have nothing to support. They, they don't have money to give. They don't have any connection, but they, they have a giving heart. They have a heart of supporting people. It is not that, that is not how God created them. It is the enemy that has stripped them of naked. He has stripped them naked. They do not want them to get anything. Do you know many of us that we give, do you know we are the poorest people? Don't you know? Givers, in the sight of God, givers never lack. But the enemy, those that we give, the attacks on us. It is more than those who do not give. Do you know the reason why? The devil knows that anything that you give, it is restored in your, in your spiritual account. The devil knows that anything we give today, either our children will reap tomorrow or our grandchildren will reap tomorrow. So the devil do not want us to give. So that our next generation will be prosperous. No way. They want our next generation to suffer, to be frustrated so that they will come and bow to mammon. That is the prince of the devil. That is why the devil wants to strip us of everything. That is why you go and do good to somebody and the devil go and push the heart of that person to come and insult you, to come and abuse you so that instead of the, you blessing that person, oh, you just curse the person. Yes. Yes, that is the devil. That is the devil. Let my helpers financially be released. Let them, let them receive financial breakthrough. Let my destiny helpers, wherever they are, let them receive financial breakthrough. Wherever my destiny helpers are, let my destiny helpers receive financial breakthrough. Financial breakthrough. Wherever my helpers are, in the north, in the south, in the east, in the west, receive financial breakthrough. After these prayers, many of your helpers will start giving the little they have. They will start coming to your aid because they are mandated to help you. Whenever your helpers today, hey, I think today is the first time that I'm sweating, dwelling prayers so, uh, ever since in my in history. <laughs> in history, today is a new day. I feel so so fire. I feel fire. I feel fire. Yes, I feel fire this moment. I can feel the ah uh, uh, the fire. The fire is then. Yes, helpers. Job was in need. <laughs> the wife even despised him. The wife even was ready to leave him. Job family was, they were dead. They were all worldly. Nobody came to the aid of Job. Nobody assisted Job. When Job was dying of hunger, the only thing the friends were able to do was to rebuke him, to rebuke, to chastise. That is the reward of evil man. That is the reward of a wicked man. Nobody can prosper through wickedness instead of them. Giving the necessary support for Job to rise up to be who he is. No way. The devil, after laying hands on Job, fenced the end, the, the helpers. So when you study the book of Job 42, verse, verse number 10, there you know that after God restored Job, there the family members, some brought gold. Hey, I never knew they have gold. There are some of our family members, they have gold. They will never give to us in need. Now that we are in need, they will never bring that gold. When they see us on top that we do not need, then they'll bring their gold. Say, Lord God Almighty, anybody with a word of prophecy to help my life, I call you now. Anybody with the help of prophecy to help me move to my next level, wherever you are, I call your ministry. I call your ministry. I call your ministry. I call your ministry. Lord God Almighty, put pressure on my destiny helpers with access. Some of them, they have access now. Not that they do not have, just that they have forgotten you. Some of them, they can do what they have promised now. Not that they, they do not want to do. The devil have 
made them forgot you. They have forgotten us. Our destiny helpers, they do not remember us again. People that have promised us to help us have forgotten us. Elohim, put pressure on my helper. Put pressure on my helper. Put pressure on my helper. Let my helper locate me. Let my helper remember me. Remember my children. Let my destiny help her. Some people, when your mommy is dying in the emergency ward and need money for surgery, they will never show. You will never see them. Some politicians, they have access. They will hear of the sickness of your mom. They will hear of the cancer, that cancer of your dad. They have heard it. They are waiting for your dad to come so that they will come for your dad to pass away. Or for your mom to pass away so that they will come and give huge amount of money. They will wait for you to lose it before they will come and give huge amount of money. Say, Lord God Almighty, let anybody with the word of prophecy to help me to my next level, wherever they are, I call them, I call them, I call them, I call their ministry, destiny helpers, unexpected helpers, unexpected helpers, locate me, locate my ministry, locate my business, Locate my business. Locate my business. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. How much is this? Say any cage that they have kept my helpers in. Let that cage be broken now. Any black cage that is keeping my helper, let that black cage catch fire and let my helper be released. Let my helper be released. Many of you, the father of your, your first children, they are worthy. Not that they are broke, that they can't they can pay your children's school fees. They are worthy. It's just that somebody has changed their mind. Of that man from his own children. Somebody through demonic calculation. Have managed to change the mind of that man. From his own children. So the man have money. The man is enjoying in the palace. And the children are dying in the village. The man is enjoying in the palace. And the children are dying in the village. Say Lord God Almighty. Once again. Put pressure on my destiny helpers. 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 Any charm working for my destiny helper to locate, to forget me, let that charm be broken. Any charm ah, working for my destiny helper, for my children's destiny helper, ah, working to stop the, that helper from locating my children, let that charm be broken. Let that voodoo be broken. Let that chant be broken. Let that chant be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Say any blessing hanging in the sky that belongs to me, let it be released. Any blessing hanging in the sky that belongs to me, let that blessing be released now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any blessing in the hand of destiny hijackers. Demons that hijack people's destiny. Let that thing be released now. Let it be released now. Anything bearing my name, bearing my signature, bearing the name of my children in the realms of the spirit. Let it be released. 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 Let any blessing. Ah, any virtue, any potential with my, my signature in the realms of the spirit, with my children's signature, with my husband's signature, or my wife's signature, or with my parents' name as, as an inheritance. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let what belongs to me be released. Be released. Be released from the hand of demonic hijackers. They hijack what belongs to people. They hijack what belongs to nations. They hijack what belongs to families. 
The hijack world belongs to individuals. Let whatever is in the hand of demonic hijackers, let it be released now. Let what is in the hand of the prince of Persia, let it be released now. Let what is in the hand of the zebras, of the cobras, of the mantras, in the name of Jesus Christ, be released, be released, be released, be released. Let them, ah, let it be released, let it be released. Your marriage, that is in the house, be released, your wedding ring, certificate, your shoes, your clothing, your career, whatever they are holding, the fruit of your womb, whatever is in their hand, let it be released by power and authority, I declare, let it be released in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be released. Hmm. Yes, 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 let whatever they are holding, what they are keeping in their mouth, what they've swallowed, what they have swallowed, what they are keeping in their mouth, let it be released. I never knew in the realms of the spirit there are demons that you see them with something in their hair. Very big. You may think it's, a, it's an illness or it's, it's a swell. People's blessing. People's blessings are in the mouth of some demons. I once had that encounter. I saw that revelation the year 2018. I was standing beside an, an adage woman. I saw something me. I saw I saw that oh she's feeling pain. Small time she's doing like this. I see she's in pain. Like she's having pains in her teeth. Not knowing orange that belongs to me were in the mouth of that woman. Orange that belongs to me was in the mouth of that woman. So as I was standing there, the woman wanted me to go so that he can, he can just bring it out and just have some breath, have some fresh breath. Because that thing was so heavy there. It was hide, she was hiding it there. And I also stood that very night. I was on one altar. <clears throat> I was praying with one of our puppets in Ghana. Through YouTube prayers. Yes. So when I went to sleep, I had that encounter and I was not moving. And this woman wanted me to move so that she can just remove it and get, and get some breath. I said, no. The Father, we have prayed that whatever that belongs to me, that is in the hand of the enemy, let it be released. And I see this thing there. I stood there and I stood, I stood and I immediately the woman said, pay, take it. And I saw something whitish came from the, this area. I took it, I cleaned it, it was ripe orange. And it has been surrounded with saliva, so it is white. You see, as white, but it is an orange. I cleaned it and I took it. And I said, eh, so all this while, while I'm standing here, having pity for you, that you are feeling pain. I never knew it is my blessing. That is in your, in your mouth. Many of you, your blessing, somebody have tied this as a talisman around the waist. Many of you, what belongs to you? Somebody is using it as a waist beast around the waist. When she goes, she go with it. When she returns, she returns with it. When she sleeps, she sleeps with it. So if you don't command the release of it by fire and authority, she was not going to get it. I want you to declare, let whatever that belongs to me right now by power and authority be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Let every blessing that belongs to me that is in the hand of a wrong person by power and authority, I take it by force. 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 By power and authority. What belongs to me that is in the hand of a wrong person. What belongs to my children that has been stolen. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released. By power and authority. We command the release of it. Let them vomit it. Let them vomit it. Let them vomit it. Let them vomit it. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let them vomit. Let them form it. Let them form it. Let them form it. We push it out. 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 Let them form it by power and authority. By up. Oh my God. Let them form it. Let them form it right now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Those people that have tied our destiny around their waist as a, like a talisman, like a talisman or a bangle around their, their hand or whatever they have tied it. We are going to declare, let that turn around their waist, make them feel uncomfortable. Anything that belongs to you, that is in the hand of these people, that is in the hand of a wrong person, let it make them feel uncomfortable. Right now, whatever they are, let them feel uncomfortable. Let it make them feel uncomfortable. Unless they release it, let them, let that thing, ah, my God, torment them, torment them, torment them. If it is your citizenship, your citizenship, or your document, or your certificate, in the name of Jesus Christ, or your ring, or any person, or anything to make life comfortable for you that they've stolen right now right now let it torment them 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 let it make them feel uncomfortable right now let them not feel good until they release it until they release it until they release it let it torment them let it harass them let it give them pressure let it give them heat let it give them heat let it electrocute them electrocute them give them a shock 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 until they release it he cut that double See prayer then. Leka biende makapa ya dosa. Lento robo masunda ya man. So prokoto liantar makapa. Let it be released. 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 Wherever it is, if they are hanging it around their waist right now, let it be so tight on them. Let them not be able to breathe until they release it. If it is in their belly, let them not feel comfortable until they vomit it out. Let them not feel good until they vomit it out. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let them fit in. That belongs to you. That has been stolen from your childhood. From your childhood. What belongs to our children. That has been stolen. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. According to Job 19 verse 12. Job chapter 19. Verses number 12. He said his troop came together. His troop came together and raised up their way against me and then camp run about my tabernacle. We are going to run about our house in the realms of the spirit. We are going to run about our house. Wherever that they have encamped, if they have encamped run about our tabernacle, if they can come run about our house seeking access to enter or waiting for us to sleep so that they will enter in in the name of Jesus Christ shout what it goes fire seven times what it goes fire 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 say Lord God Almighty let them be burned into ashes in my compound if they came in the form of a rat, let me see that rat died in my compound. If they came ah, uh, in the form of a serpent, let them not return again. Let them burn into ashes in my compound. Those that have surrounded or encamped my home or encamped my parent home or encamped my business or encamped my ministry in the name of Jesus Christ, let them burn into ashes. Let them burn into ashes. The troop that they've sent for me, the troop that they've release for me the troop that they've organized for me in the name of Jesus Christ let the Holy Ghost fire let the consuming fire consume them around my home those around my working place my business my business my business my business my business my business, my business. in the mighty name <laughs> of Jesus Christ your working place your working place Recently, the Lord revealed a man of God to me. Now, I don't talk about many things that I see about people. I'm growing. I'm maturing. There are so many things. I don't, I don't have time to talk about it now. I saw a man of God. 
That man of God physically is paralyzed inside the house. And the Lord revealed to me how that man of God got paralyzed. Yes, I saw it on my bed. I don't know anybody that relates to that man. I don't know, and I don't know how I'm going to get contact of that man because he's not one of these media people. He's not one of these media people. I saw there was a crusade that this man of God had been invited as a guest, as a guest speaker. Hey, don't start all. Today, you see the fire here? Don't start. Tell them they shouldn't come. Mm. And as that man of God was being invited, I saw a chair that they have elected for that man of God. And I saw other men of God anointing that chair. So the man of God, the man of God came with the wife. They offered him a chair and the wife also a separate chair. And after that man of God sat on the chair, after he finished ministering, he paralyzed. Instantly, I saw on the pulpit, they, they pick him. Pentecost pastor. Hmm. They picked that man of God from the puppets with my eyes seeing this man of God. They picked him. He couldn't walk again. He couldn't walk again. Yes, he couldn't walk again. Just imagine, you know, even in the tabernacle. So whatever Job was saying, Job really knows. He said, if I camp, my tabernacle. Even in the presence of God, see the wickedness that is there. In the house of God, see the wickedness. A fellow preacher. You know, when I saw this revelation, I, 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 have, I, I feel so, doing so many things. So. Especially when somebody inviting you to a program. Somebody inviting, because when you go, they will give you a chair. A chair, they've anointed a chair for you. They've elected a chair that you have to go and sit on it. You don't know what is in that chair. When I had this revelation, I understood one presenter in Ghana. He was in one of the famous FM uh, radio stations in Ghana. And this presenter, when, he's, when he crossed, he carried his chair in his car and take it home. When he's coming back, he brings his chair. He don't leave the chair that he sits on that radio station. He do not leave his chair. People are saying, ah, people are making a lot of allegations. Oh, mm, so chair also you have to carry. You don't want anybody to sit on your chair. It's not that he doesn't want anybody to sit on his toe. People go for charm. People go for all powers to come and anoint that chair. I want you to pray one prayer point. Anybody that have anointed your chair for you to sit on it in your working place to paralyze in the name of Jesus Christ, let them sit on it themselves. Let let them sit on it themselves. Anybody that have anointed your table for you to come and sit in front of that table and get stroke in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it bounce back to them. Let it go 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 back to them, back to them. in the name of Jesus Christ. Your working place. Your working place. Anybody that want to paralyze you because they want to they want to remove you from that position in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let it bounce back to them let it go 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 back to them, back to them. in the name of Jesus Christ so whoever has sent death whoever has sent do you know we can evoke the angel of death to visit you. Somebody can just sit here and evoke on something and call the angel of death. When you study the Bible, the book of Psalm 109, it says, let Satan stand at the right hand side. Let Satan, we can sit here and evoke Satan to come and stand on your right hand side. We've given him access. He will come. He will come. Anybody that has evoked death. Today I saw a beautiful woman. And that atrocity that have happened to, that have fallen on this lady. Ah, even a normal person, somebody that is abnormal will never accept that it is real. 
that it is real. A snake from nowhere. As I just removed my this booty to sit on my WC to nyash. And the snake say, hey, welcome, come. And I die. Just like that. Just like that. An Air Force personality. Very beautiful lady. Very beautiful lady. When I saw a video how he, she was praising God. That in Nigeria. How she was worshipping God. You think it's normal? It's not normal. It is not normal. The snake will come into a hole. My country, Ghana, there is a parable that they say, meaning a snake doesn't bite when you even pursue him in the, in the hole. When you put your hand inside the hole and the snake is inside the hole, if they have not sold you to that snake, that snake will never bite you in the hole. When I was young, we used to go and hunt for crab. Koto. C-L-A-B. Ghanaian language we call it koto. Crab. When you go, some of the hole, some of the hole, you put your hand inside, you, you bring a millipede. Some of the hole, you put your hand inside, you see snake, we bring snake. We used to catch snake all day, all time. None of them bite us. Not a... How did the snake even came and hang around there? Who sent that snake? There are so many things when it happened. We have million questions to answer, to ask. I just need some answers. But it has happened. The father, somebody has vowed not to let you see this December. If you don't rise up, you will not see it. The father, somebody have taken upon themselves that even if it will cause their last blood for them to eliminate you from this earth, they will do it to remove you from the position. You know, there are people, they know that when you are not dead, you are the next in power. There are people that the position you hold today in your working place, the position that you studied, many of you, you studied with empty stomach when you were in schools. Because you were from a poor background that you couldn't afford even two square meal a day. You studied to get that, that career, to get that position. And somebody came, she, he or she came and met you in that place. You even taught him, you took him around to show him so many things. And now she wants to remove you or he wants to remove you so that he take that position. So now many people are visiting so many places. Me, I don't think good though. People always say my mind is full of evil. Not that my mind is full of evil or I think negative. It is the mind of people that I reason for them. Because me, when I sit with you and you are so quiet and I'm also quiet and I see your forehead, I can read your mind. Yes. Sometimes when I'm with somebody and even I'm talking to the person, the person is talking. As soon as you, you, you start talking within my mind, I can read your mind. And I will draw conclusion to you. As soon as I draw conclusion, you say, ah, 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 you are this, you are that. You, you see, they get irritated. Many of you that have that discernment spirit, even with your husband, when they are talking, talking, you can just draw conclusion. And he say, why are you thinking what I'm not thinking? It is that thing that you are thinking. It is not that you are not thinking. You are just drawing conclusion for them. That is their mind. That is their mind. Yes. They are planning evil. Some men today are evil. Some women today are evil. We are going again. Our time is almost up. Our time is almost up. But let's pray two or three prayers. Anywhere that anybody has visited... <laughs> For me to be used as a goat in this Christmas. Or for my daughter to be used as a sheep or my son. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let their soul be taken in replace of my soul. Pray that prayer point. Anywhere they want to take my soul. Or take my children's soul. Let their soul be taken in replace of my soul. 
Let their children's soul be taken in replace of my children's soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever they visited that they want to kill me or kill my mom or kill my daddy or kill my children, let their, their, them and their relatives, let their soul be taken in replace of my soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, say Lord God Almighty, grant me divine escape. Let me escape everything released. Let me and my family escape. Grant us divine escape. We escape premature death. We escape every accident scenario. We escape every imminent danger. We escape tsunami. We escape earthquake. We escape. We escape. We escape a uh, gas explosion. We escape every accident. Every accident. Being accident in the home. Ah, accident that my son will fall from the third floor or my daughter will fall from the third floor. I escape. I escape, I cancel accident that my daughter will meet gas explosion in the kitchen or I will meet gas explosion in the kitchen. I escape, I escape, I escape accident in all forms. We escape, we escape in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Let me tell you something that I have not, I have not thought of it. Hmm. The day that we were going to do the donation in that village, when my PA and the team, when they were going, they said when they went to the bus station, because that place you, you take a bus and it is almost four hours drive. So you have, they have to go in the morning. When they, when they are going far away, you have to go in the morning. So by the afternoon, they are in that, in that city. So they said they went to the bus station. They bought their ticket. Huh? Murphy. So when it was in their turn, they were she, they were the last person. When it was her turn, somebody just rushed to enter. And one man was standing, so let let them go, let them go. Take the next bus. So my, my PSA, we are very angry, so we all get down. We get we get down because they we, we they felt they have been cheated because they've been in a queue and it is their turn and somebody they they didn't start from them they start from somewhere so they got angry so there was a man there that said oh wait I go with a second car so they waited for their next bus when they when they bought the bus after driving for two and a half hours they went and met the cars the car have summer sorted. And all the people there, none of them can even rise on their feet. They were all of them, they were carried to a nearby hospital there. And the man that bought a second bus with her, he said, you know, everything that God does, he does for a reason. Mm -hmm. Who should you add, auntie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the father he has decided to distract you find ways and means to distract just a minute <laughs> yeah you find ways and means to distract just a minute please we have to pray two prayers and we go we are left to two prayers we are left to two prayers then we go uh, please just a minute just a minute please a minute, give me a minute, please. Used to share for me. Yeah, so whatever God does, He does for a reason. Whatever God does, He does for a reason. She escaped. When she called me, I said, Ah, God will never let you die because you are going to do good things. Mm. God wanted it to happen. So that people even say, I have gone for money ritual. Mm. You know, many people, some of the villages, when we even want to give them something, they say, hey, maybe this, this small, small people that want to rise so quickly. Maybe she has gone for money ritual and she wants to use us for sacrifice. Some of them, you give them even, they will not take. Mm. You give them, they will not take. But I understand them because there are so many evil things around. There are evil people that have come before us doing so many things. Yes, divine escape. Divine escape. From now to we finish this year, <laughs> that prayer point, add it to your prayer point. Divine escape. 
Lord, grant me divine escape. Every accident they prepare, let me escape. Every trap they set, let me escape. Every trap they set for my children, let my children escape. Let my husband escape or my wife escape. Let me and my family escape every accident in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In school, let my children escape. Recently, I saw one video. You know me, I like... When I'm free and I'm, I'm just stressed up, I'm on the media. Mm. I just, I sometimes when I, I don't have anything to do, I come and fight. Mm. I just come and fight, comment session. Every, many of you have been seeing me there. Mm. Me, that is me. I've been doing this from 2018. That is all the time they broke my page. Mm. Because when I'm, I'm, no, I'm, 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 I'm overstressed, I'm just stressed, I have to come there. People will write comments and you reply them. You know, some people, that is their job that they also do. When you write one comment, when I write one comment, more than a hundred plus reply, they'll be fighting under the comment section. So when I'm, I'm just stressed, I come and put one long comment. You see, they will be fighting, fighting, fighting. I say, huh? just draw your conclusion. Me, I have done, I'm done. I move to the next one. You see me everywhere. You see me everywhere. When I, <laughs> I just come and write and go. Yeah, I was on the media. I saw two friends, two boys, young boys. I think the 18. One was asleep. He was lying down watching television. Another one went for either it is direction that they gave to him, a spiritualist gave to him to ju just come and do this around his friend. Mm -hmm. So the friend was there and the other one was sitting there taking video. He did this thing, finish, took that thing to that spiritualist who sent and the friend died. I think they are students in hostel or they are in the boarding house. Our children are in the boarding house. Many of you, your children are in schools. They are far away. We are praying for them. We are covering them with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Take water for me. Take your water. Get your water ready. Take your water ready. Take your water. Yeah, get your water ready. After this prayer, we start the healing. So get your water ready. Say anybody who want to take the life of my children in the name of Jesus Christ, let them be arrested. Let them be arrested. Especially those of you, those of us that we are having virgin girls and virgin boys. Virgin children. Those so-called people. That when you start talking about them, they restrict your page. Those so-called people, when they get a virgin and take to their kingdom, you become a billionaire. So we that we are having virgin girls, it is we have to cover them. It is not safe at all. It is not safe at all, especially we that our children are in senior high schools and junior high school that they are in hostels and boarding house. We are going to soak their soul in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mention the name of your children and I say, I soak your soul. Wherever you are, I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I use the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth as a seal on you. All my children, I use the blood as a seal. All my children, I use the blood of Jesus Christ as a seal on your life, as a seal on your forehead, as a seal on your life. The blood of Jesus Christ, I cover you from evil friends. I cover you from evil friends. I cover you from those planning to use you for sacrifice. Masters planning to use you for sacrifice. Tutors trying to use you for sacrifice. In the name of Jesus Christ, matrons, madams, masters, whoever will plan to use you to take your soul, to kill you. In in the name of Jesus Christ, let the angels of God intervene, intervene, intervene. Let the angels of God intervene on behalf of our children, on behalf of our grandchildren. Angels of God, angels of God, intervene, 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 intervene in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord God Almighty. Every landlord, hmm. do you know many of your landlord, they join this witches, witches group. Some of them are in the courty group. Some of the landlord that we see them, they have joined so many secret group. That's why I keep telling you there are so many houses. When you live in that house, you never prosper. Yes. There are so many houses. When you stay in that house, money will never stay in your hand. 
because they have joined a secret group and they have vowed that anybody that live in this house should never be richer than me. Anybody that live in this house, that come and rent this house, let that person not be richer than me. So you'll be working, they'll be taking your money to the witches camp. You'll be working, they'll be taking everything that comes in your hand to the witches camp. I want us to go there. Our time is gone, but let us pray. Let us pray. Any landlord that is a contractor that has been taking what belongs to me to the witches camp, let that person paralyze. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, you saw a court man confession. Yesterday I post something, some video. I don't know. I, I fear to post on Facebook because I don't want them to block me again. I post on our YouTube channel the confession of that man. I will share the link on, on, on the on Facebook so later you can watch it. It is just 30 minutes. You believe every word I've been talking to you about. You believe so many prayer points that have been left in here. Many of you, when you watch it like that, I, 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 I like it. Because some of the words that we, we uh, some of the things that I talk about here, about it here, many people call it, oh, it's evil doctrine. People that have not had that experience, they will say, oh, this is not the doctrine of God. But it is something happening. It is something that evil men and evil women are doing. Any, any landlord that has vowed not to make me rich, any landlord... Hmm. There is a, something that uh, uh, that is it is personal. I can't share it. The father, I'm still here. I, there are so many things I can't. I cannot talk about it. When I live here, mm, I will talk about it. Yes. Any landlord that has vowed not to make me prosper, landlord that has been taking every money that comes in my hands to the witches camp, to the quarter camp, in the name of Jesus Christ, let them fall and die, 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 every landlord, any landlord that has vowed not to let the tenant are renting his apartment to prosper, to prosper, to prosper, in the name of Jesus Christ, let them fall and die, let them be consumed, let them be exposed, let them be exposed, in the name of Jesus Christ, every landlord that has been opening doors for demons to attack us, attack the people that is renting in the apartment, landlord that has been giving demons, giving powers, giving the kingdom of darkness access to fight the, the tenant in the name of Jesus Christ. Let fire consume them. Let fire consume them. We summon 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 them. Let fire consume them. Let fire consume them. Let fire consume them. Let fire consume them. We summon them. Let fire consume them. Everything that they've taken to that witch's kingdom, we take it back. We receive it back. We summon them. We take 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 it back in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, many of the things that we, we our our focus, we just we focus on witches. Some of them are unknown people, landlords. Landlords, this Christmas, many of them are opening doors for witches to come for souls in their house. So there, there is there was one family house. Every year, one person renting that house will die. Yes. Every year. Every year. If, you're, if your son don't die there, your husband will die. If your husband don't die in that house, your wife will die. You die and they take you. you your family move from that house. They come for the remaining money. They give the house to another person. Maybe you don't know. Nobody have told you and you go and rent an apartment. You go and rent such a house. Ignorant, innocent person. Your children say, God Almighty, let every landlord that is planning to sacrifice my children 
or sacrifice my husband or sacrifice me or my wife in the name of Jesus Christ. Let fire consume them. Let fire consume them. Let fire consume them. Let fire consume them. Any landlord planning to take my life, any landlord planning to chew my daughter, chew my son, chew my grandchildren, Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire them. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, fire them. Let them be exposed. Let our life, Father, let our life be secured. Let nothing threaten us in where we rent. Let nothing threaten us. Let nothing threaten the peace of your children. Where they live, where they rent apartment. Let nothing threaten them. In the name of Jesus Christ. If any landlord have dedicated the souls of all the tenants to demons, Lord God Almighty, I smit that landlord with Paralysis. I smit him or him with stroke. I smit them with stroke. I smit them with stroke. I arrest them. Let them confess. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Yes, there are some house. As soon as every day when you sleep, you see death. You may think it is from your family. Me, when I sit here, you know, my prayers, it goes all direction from north, south, east, and west. I pray concerning everything. I pray concerning everything. Yes. There are some landlord when you live in their house. Every day when you sleep, you, you sleep, you feel attack. Like something is tormenting you. You can't sleep in that house that you've paid huge money to even to rent. You can't sleep peacefully. Something is threatening you. Something is tormenting you. Ah uh ah. -uh. Uh -uh. Lord God Almighty, expose all these wicked landlords. Expose them. Let their powers be set on fire. Let their powers be set on fire. Let their horns be cut into pieces. Let their horns be cut into pieces. Let their pillars giving them strength. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be broken. Let them paralyze. 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 Let, them paralyze. let every money that they've taken from people to leave the tenant in debt. Debt. Before you went and rent that house, you and your husband were financially stable. Now nothing is working. Your husband go to work and return empty. Your husband taxi every day it get puncher. Every day it get problem. Your husband's uh, how do you say? Oh, taxi or the car he's using. Every day there is a problem. He will come and pack it. When it is time for him to go, the battery is not working. The engine will break. Something will break. Something will break. Hey! <laughs> there was one of these witches that was arrested. One of the witches was arrested and he was. she was confessing. As he was confessing, she said, there is a man there. And that man, he had this 207 bus. That bus, I don't know those in uh, abroad. I don't know if you know that 207 because that's how I know it in my country. I don't know other name that they called. Like the Benz. This man, ever since he bought that new car, he can't earn anything from that car. From one problem to the other. From one problem to the other. And the day that that witch woman was confessing, she said that is the bus that they use for all their meetings. That is the bus that they take for all their meetings. So when they board that bus and they return, the bus is tired. <laughs> the bus is tired. They board the bus and go for their meeting. So when the man wake up in the morning and is ready to go, the engine have break because they've went for a long distance. The car is tired. Sometimes I say, I hold the steer, the steer just remove in my hands. And I have to go and face it. The tie is loose. I have to go and pump it. Every day there is a new problem. Every day. I want you to pray one prayer point. I know many of you, this thing that I'm, I'm mentioning, of, you are going through. They are using your cars. Mm. They are using your private cars. <laughs> that is what they used to go for their journey. 
So anytime you sit in that car, it's that car. It's like the car is threatening you. So you have to come and park it. So many of you, you bought a car. The car is parked because you fear to go. It has tempted, it has tried an accident three times. So the car is parked. And every night they've gotten a bus. They've gotten a bus. They've gotten a bus. Yes. The year 2019, I, I traveled to one village. You know, when I went, I, I mean, I like village evangelism. I went to the village. I was going from one village to the other. And I, I slept in one village, one of the villages. Because when I went, I didn't return to the village that I started from. So at that night, it was Monday, Monday night, Sunday to Monday. When I slept, I saw two cars. One was a bigger car and another was a private car. The car was there. And they were packing things, like how market women are going for market. They were packing load inside that car. And they packed their load in one car. And the passengers, they, some of them bought a private car and they moved. So when I wake up, I say, mm, this witches, there, there are witches in this, this place. They are going for a convention or a conference. And, and one woman said, how? I say yes, because I saw two cars. And the cars were here, and they were packing things inside the car. I stood there and watched. They pour the car, and they go. I didn't see the car return, so I just moved to my house. The next day, that was Monday, around 3 a.m., uh, uh, many people, they were on a journey, like they are traveling from one city to the other because of the Christmas. When they got to that city, their car break, they went and bring the mechanic. He tried and tried and tried and tried. He couldn't move the car. The car slept in that village the next day. Another private car, he also came. He never knew that car had stopped in the middle of the room. He came and hit the car. So it moved the car into the bush. That car also stopped. They faced and faced and faced. They couldn't face that car. They were not able to face that car. That two cars were the passengers. They were, they just dropped all the passengers. Those that have embarked on a long journey, you know, many people in Africa, you can travel from Nairobi to your village. It's a very long, long journey. Maybe it will take five hours or four hours. Those drive. Yes. So the car was there. And the woman came and said, Hey, this thing that you said, it is, it is like, it is real. I say, it is real. The witches in this town, they are traveling. They will come. If they do not return, this car can never move. Because this is the same car that I saw that they have packed their things inside that they are gone. They are gone. Physically, the car is just there. But the car, physically, it is there. But in the realms of the spirit, it is in a conference. It is in a conference. I say, just see with your eye. If they can move this car this day. They have to return before they can move that car. That car, they tried and tried and tried and tried. The mechanic, the, the mechanic they, they got tired and they just went. The following day, around 12 a.m., nobody, no mechanic, nothing. They just started the car. The car started moving. And they embarked on their journey. And the woman said, wow, you are a prophetess. I said, I'm not a prophetess. I just see. I just saw what they were doing. Yes, many of you, your car is packed in your compound. But as I'm speaking to you, it is in Toronto. You are in New Jersey. Your car is working somewhere. Many of you, your private car, they are using as a passenger car. That they are using to work, to get money for the evil kingdom. We are praying. We are praying. Any witchcraft power that is using my car. Using any any machine, using my machine, or using anything that you know that you know that you are using it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let fire of God strike them and let them leave my car. Any power using my car, any power using any power that have been using what belongs to me, any landlord that has been making incantation on my car to stop my car to. To, to attack my car in the name of Jesus Christ. Let fire consume them. Let fire consume them. Let fire consume them. Let fire consume them in the name of Jesus Christ. Final prayer point. <laughs> Final prayer point. That will take some of your time, but forgive me. Let's pray some prayer point. Any of us that we've started building that we don't have money to complete. Let's go there. 
<laughs> Many of us that we've laid foundation and put three, four blocks that we don't have money now to complete. Let's go there. Recently, I was there and the Lord revealed to me my house that I'm struggling to complete since 2018 that I can't finish. <laughs> I can't finish. I had a dream. I went there. In a vision, I saw a cat. A cat has visited the house, living in the room, as even with a husband, with children. Mm. A cat with a husband. Mm. He said, I saw my car in trance, parked in the old house that I always dream of. Just imagine. Mm. Hey, Holy Spirit. <laughs> ah, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will never lie. Hmm. Mm. It is like we have prayed many of you your prayer point. From today, your car will begin to work well. That house that I'm struggling to finish, that I can't even get money to buy cement now because Ghana cement you can't buy. You can't buy iron rods. You can't buy wood. Everything is expensive in Ghana. I saw in a revelation a cat with a husband and the children. They visited there, they are living there. Mm. They are living there. So I want to ask them, who gave you permission to stay here? Say, so we came on our own. They came on their own. And I perceive they are the reason why I can't even finish the house. Because I can't get money. When I get money, either that my adopted son recently, he has been sick, sick, sick. I don't know if the devil wants to use that for me just to frustrate me. I don't know. I don't know. He has been sick, 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 sick. No, no, they don't have father. I'm the father. I'm the mother. I'm everything. I'm everything. It's not easy. We are praying. We are going to our property. That your land. That, that, that uncompleted house. Wherever your business is, go there. Any power that has visited that place. To destroy to make sure you don't complete. To make sure you do not complete that project. Let fire pursue them from that land. Let fire pursue them from your home. Let fire pursue them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil spirit that has visited our plot of land. That has visited our, our home. That has visited our uncompleted project. To make sure we do not complete. To make sure we do not even get help. To make sure money doesn't stay in our hand. For us to complete. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let fire consume them. Let fire consume them. Let fire consume them. Let fire consume them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord God Almighty, I surround that land. I surrender my property with your blood, O oh Lord. I cover that area with your fire, O oh Lord. I cover my business. If it is your shop, cover that shop with the blood of Jesus Christ. If it is your saloon, just cover it. If it is your grocery shop, cover it. If it is your uncompleted house, cover it. If it is a plot of land, cover it. I cover it, O oh Lord, with your fire, with your fire, with your fire with your fire with your fire with your fire in the name of jesus christ final prayer anybody who wants to take what belongs to you for us we don't have money to go to court to we don't have money to buy lawyers we don't have money to bribe judges our final judge yeah recently i my my, my peer went to that area and one Muslim man, he has managed to put a fence wall to take part of my plot of land. I say, I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to ask you anything. Hmm? She called me and said, Sister, should, should we approach? I said, Don't approach him. Let him take. Let him take. Let him take. But if you take something that do not belong to you, you leave it. You die and I will take it. Or either I, I get money and buy your property. Me, I will not fight you. She has put a fence wall. And even some part of my, my that place, just like this. Just imagine taking all the space. She just wants a fight. Some people, they are evil. As you are struggling to make their thing well, they are bringing problem. I can see confirmation of this prayer. So thank you, God Almighty. 
Thank you, God Almighty. We are praying. Anybody who wants to take what belongs to us, Anybody who wants to inherit you by force. Anybody who is sitting on what belongs to you. Let them be evicted. Let them release it. Let them die by force. Anybody who have taken property that is yours. That is for your uncle. That is for your, your father. Anything that belongs to you. Anything that is supposed to be in your hand. That has been taken away. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let them die and leave it. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody that have taken your family property, your family business, your family business, your father told to leave an inheritance for you after the death of your father. Somebody want to take it. Somebody have taken it. The case is in court. The judge has been bribed against you people so he doesn't even see your face he doesn't want to even pass judgment in the name of jesus christ we have one judge we have one judge which is error in the sight of him for somebody to take what belongs to us when whoever is seated on that property let that person die and leave it let that person die and leave it let that person release it let it be released let it be released let it be released your house document your house papers, your car papers, your plot of land, the document, let it be released, let it be released, let it be released, any property that they want to take it to court, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be released, let it be released, let it be released, in Jesus Christ, mighty name, hold your water, Lord God Almighty, we are about to close, we bless this water, O oh Lord, we bless this water, O oh Lord, we bless this water, oh Lord. You know, three things that God has done through this ministry, this program tonight. I have seen restoration. I have seen way that have opened. Because as we are praying, I saw a door that they have closed. They, they have just opened. I saw a door that has been opened. Yes. I saw a door that has been opened. I see where that limitation yoke has been lifted. What is limiting people from today? Many of you start seeing speeding. After these prayers, many of you start speeding. And the final one is helpers. Many of you receive unexpected helpers. People that you do not even expect for them to call you. They will call you after this seminar. After this conference, you hear a phone call from them. People that they have been tied have been loosed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord Jesus Christ. This water is a seal. It's a confirmation seal. As your children drink this water, Lord, lift every burden from their heart. Break every yoke of infirmity. Let every sickness in them disappear. Let every pain disappear. Let anything restored or deposited in them to make them weak not be able to pray to confuse them to make them desperate lord god almighty as they drink this water oh lord restore them let this water be a testimony water in our hand as this water enters our body let the testimony manifest in the name of Jesus Christ, as this water enters our body, let testimony manifest in our life. Let us receive testimonies. Let us receive testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us receive healing testimonies. Healing testimonies, breakthrough testimonies, deliverance testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, this water is your blood. Those that do not even have blood, those that their blood has been taken away, when they drink this water, restore them. Those that came here with ulcer, cancer, fibroid, when they take this water in their hand, let the fibroid melt. Those that came here with ovariances, when they take this water, let ovariances disappear. Those that came here with impotency, erectile, erectile dysfunctioning, let then receive restoration after taking this water. Father, let this water be like the pool of Bethesda. After it is being stirred, 
Let anybody that deep inside this water, oh Lord, let that person receive instant healing. Anybody that will take this water in, my, in our hand, oh Lord, let the person receive instant healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the blind person that will take this water receive the sight. Let the dumb receive the mouth to speak again. Let the one that came here with heart problem, that the heart is ready to fail in when the person take this water let the person receive instant healing let the person that cannot hear when they take this water let the ear be unbroken let the person with paralysis when they take this water Elohim let that paralysis disappear let that paralysis disappear in the name of Jesus Christ the one that came here with lunacy epilepsy symptoms of madness depression Bipolar syndromes, sciatica, arthritis, lecabiade, macapayadosa, lentonopo, masun diamond, so procotoli, and macapam. When they take this water, Lord God Almighty, release instant healing, release instant healing, release instant healing, release instant healing, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let waste pain disappear. Let back pain disappear. Let stomach ulcer ah, disappear. Let the pains in the in, lambs in the breast, when they take this water, let the lambs disappear. Let lambs in their manhood, when they take this water, let it disappear. Let the man that cannot walk, let the woman that is will bonded. My God, when they take this water, let them receive their strength to go back to work. Let them receive their strength to go back to work. Let the one that is with spinal cord problem. Ah, God. Problem that need the surgery. Problem that need to be operated. Father, when they take this water under this atmosphere, oh my God, let them receive instant healing. Instant healing. Instant healing. Instant healing. Instant healing. Instant healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, as you healed Naaman through the water of River Jordan, let this water be River Jordan. Let this water be the water that was in the pool of Bethsaida. Let this water be the water that gives testimony. When your children drink this water, let this water flow within them. Let it strain their blood. Let the one with severe abdominal pain receive instant healing. Let the one with premature menopause, when they drink this water, let that premature menopause disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the one with, oh God, oh God, cervical cancer, when they take this water, let that cervical cancer, let breast cancer disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's stroke that the person cannot move one part of the body. As this water enters the body, oh Lord, let that stroke disappear. When this water enters the body, let every hidden sickness, terminal diseases, invisible diseases, the liabilities hidden in the, in the organs of your people, let it manifest and disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Hallelujah, you can drink your water. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your healing, for your breakthrough, and for your deliverance, and for your restoration in Jesus Christ's mighty name. As you are all going, I cover you all with the blood of Jesus Christ. I use the blood as a seal on your life, on your children's life, on your husband's life. When you sleep, may God reveal himself to you. May the spirit of God visit you in your sleep. Those that need surgeons, may God release surgeons from his kingdom to visit you at midnight. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that need keys to open some specific doors, as you lay down your head, may God handle the keys to you. May God give you the keys to open doors in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that need people to speak for you on your situation, as you sleep, may God give you the right person. May he open your eyes to know the person, to, the right place to go. Those that are looking for job, uh, as you sleep, may God connect you to one. May God connect you to a high paying job in Jesus Christ mighty name. As you are moving from here, when you take your bus, if you are taking bus to your working place or you are taking from your working place to your home, may you meet your unexpected destiny helper. If you are in the marketplace, may that person locate you them. Even if you are, if it is supposed to be through connection or through internet, may you meet her. May you meet him. May you meet somebody that will give you a testimony after this program in the name of Jesus Christ. May you meet somebody that will give you a testimony to come and share on the altar of Gaga. Before this month comes to an end, in the name of Jesus Christ, the remaining days to finish this this month in the name of Jesus Christ may you meet a destiny helper to come and share uh, a testimony to the glory of God a destiny helper with access a destiny helper to shift you to your next level a destiny helper that will wipe away your tears that will help you carry the burden on your head in Jesus Christ mighty name I pray for you all hallelujah God bless you. Lift up your hand as you share the grace and go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. So help me, God. Amen. God bless you. If you can give us a $50, a $20 for data, you can do it. If you want to give us something for data, just for data, not for donation. For data, not for donation, yes. For data, just take the number. God bless you. Use it as your seal. If you want to use 10 as your seal for your prayer, do it. You used to buy data. Plus 233 Four four nine four seven two seven three. You can use send wave or remedy or uh, tap tap send or if you want the PayPal also, just test test me. I will send you the PayPal link. Just for data, we are asking for data, not for donation. Just for data. If you can give us ten, you can give twenty. You can give a hundred dollar. You can give a fifty dollar for data. God will bless you. We will take it and we will bless you. God willing, tomorrow you will not come live on Facebook, but I will be picking WhatsApp calls. I will be picking WhatsApp calls. Those that have, been up, have not been able to pick your WhatsApp call today, I couldn't pick up because my data was a little bit down. I didn't want it to come and disgrace me live. Yes, I didn't own the VPN. I only reply many tests. I only reply many tests, but I couldn't pay call. So if you called me and I didn't pick it, the VPN was off. The VPN was off. Yes. I wanted it for midnight prayers. I know God willing tomorrow, God will make a way. You'll get money to buy data. I trust God. Yes. I trust God. So God willing tomorrow, expect my call. Yes, it is a faith journey that we are embarking. And we know God will make a way. God bless you. Love you all. God willing, tomorrow, try and go and repeat one of our videos. Don't just sleep without praying. Don't sleep without praying. Go and, and replay one of our videos on YouTube. You search Precious Appear Gifting Ministry on YouTube. We are there. Go and play one of the videos and sleep. God bless you. Love you all. Love you all. Those that your salt and your oil is ready within this week, just let me send you how you go about it. It is in November. December, we don't do it. So if you want to take part in that salt bath, it is free. I'm not charging anybody. It is free. When we want to go and do any donation, I'll put a public notice. Those that want to help, that have the ministry of giving, they will come and do it. 
it is free if you want to take part just get your natural salt the one from the sea and get your olive oil these two items is what you're using for the salt bath in november salt bath if i tell you the testimonies that those that have done it things that you have seen with your naked eyes even my twins this my twins they took their bath last week if i tell you the revelation that our small girls had and gave to me i have been in ministry since 2018 i've been seeing so many things but i don't see how they see so clearly how they can just explain so many things at their age yes salt bath oh many of you know many of you when you come today don't come tomorrow try to follow us so get your natural salt just get your natural salt and get your olive oil natural salt the one from the sea not the powder one the rock one get it and get your olive oil send me a message on whatsapp i will give i will send you the direction how you go about it do it do it in this month you come and testify god bless you love you all have a nice day if you are writing your comment just write i'll come back and read comment yeah i'll come back because sometimes i i end it and many people their comment have not come <laughs> their comment have not come god bless you god bless you you'll meet again i'm tired i want to go and sleep so that i can wake up early tomorrow finish my work so quickly and come on whatsapp love you all shalom God bless you to Madam Mary. Please, if you have not shared the broadcast, share for me. If you have not shared it, share for me. So that you get all our missing members. You get all of them. All our missing numbers. You know, our page is new. It is new. If you are a newcomer, we welcome you. Mr. Kwame, God bless you. Bye. If you are a newcomer, we welcome you. Yes, we meet every two days. Madam Joseph, God bless you. Love you too. Yes, if today is your first time, we meet every two days. Ijeoma, God bless you too. God bless you so much. We meet every two days. So when we come today, the next day we don't come. We come today, the next day we don't come. Harriet, uh, I forget to send the link to that your friend that you introduced to me because he was requesting to join midnight prayers you know some of them <laughs> they want a personal uh like uh you get time to maybe today only them you pray with them you lead you lead and you'll be praying with them and i say no the people are many if you want to schedule that way i think within one year i will not be even even i will not be able to do it so we just meet together like this we pray together so if you have introduced somebody try to send the link to the person on whatsapp so that the person will get to know our page our schedules and the person will meet us and we we'll all join together because some of them when you pray for them once and so many things they how they see things around they wish they get you to pray every day for them but it's not like we can't do it that way it's not easy to embark on that way so when we meet like this anybody that you've introduced the person do well to share the link to the person on whatsapp or through facebook messenger and the person will get to know all our schedules and the person will join us. God bless you. Love you all. Shalom.